just maybe bump draft. Oh, we're going to go right through the Spaniard though, but unfortunately he decided to uh, unghost at the at the wrong time there. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Jack. And what have I got for you today? Well, we have a little bit of a Christmas special. So we give we have three races of Tokyo Expressway, Penalty Expressway, as previously mentioned in a previous video, which will be at the top in the card somewhere. Subscribe, like, comment, share, dislike, comment bananas, whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. Feel free. Um, and yeah, we've got awesome races coming up, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you get comfy. This is a Christmas special, not amazing, just I've got some races that I've got recorded that I wanted to get uploaded into this video, so why not better to do it now? So we're off, we're starting P15 here. This is on the second account, as you can tell, UK Racer 97. And what a week this was. So this was the week that I did live streams. Oh, actually, I think I just did the one, to be fair. But I had a really good night live stream. We got quite a few new um, subscribers as well, which was amazing. And yeah, just really enjoyed myself. So but all these races added here. This was, I think, between doing the live stream. So before and after, uh, I believe. But we'll find out, see if it actually mentions any date. So we did get shoved off wide there by the gentleman up ahead. So not good, we're back down into P15 now, just behind the Spaniard here, uh, Pablo. So we've got a bit of a journey on this one, and a journey that it will be. So you might be wondering why my videos have been a bit more few and far between. I need to apologise about that guys, because life has been in the way. I've got some awesome news to announce that there'll be a Zafra Jr. Um, <laughs> making a vis uh, making a appearance next year in June. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. So. There you go, that's my little Christmas treats to all you guys. So yeah, because of that, it's been a little bit harder to make videos where we've got lots of appointments and lots of things going on. But what I'm thinking of doing is just keeping the live streams, uh, maybe trying to keep them weekly, just because it's a lot easier for me to do live streams than do videos at the moment. Um, so I hope you guys like that. Of course, when we switch to PS5, it will look a lot prettier. And especially when we switch to using the PC to stream as well, as opposed to the PS4. So it will hopefully look a little bit more like this, although I do get a penalty there. So not good, I'm, I'm just tapped the wall there, I did it right once again. Am I going to get a penalty again? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's go to Hyperdrive here, where not much happens apart from the drums and the bump drafting. So we've got a bit of a train of us right now, train of three. And we're in P10, but we're going to quickly make that P9, although we do outbreak ourselves. Or we'll get a bump from behind, I can't quite remember. But just instantly like that, we're going to go into P, uh, P11, but we're going to try and get back into P10 here. I feel very comfortable and confident. I think I know I can get round these guys. I know I've got the pace around here, so it's just about executing that strategy and just trying to make it work. So we've got a couple, we've got a couple positions to try and make up. As we're starting to see on the mini map there, a lot of people are starting to break away. A guy behind with a penalty, uh, myself with a penalty, so really not ideal. But your average Joe just ahead. I'm going to hopefully see if we can um, work together, although they give him a bit of a bump there. Not intentional, just broke a bit early for me there. So not good. This was the uh, week my safety rating went completely down on my second account, and it's not actually repaired yet, so might have to crack it open at some point and just uh, start repairing it. We'll see, probably for the new year at this point in time. Um, but. We're going to save our penalty just about now. And we're going to see where we come out. So we're going to just about get a position there. And are we going to be attacked from anyone? I'm going to look at the mini-map here, but nope, no one's quite there on the radar. The guy ahead, your average show, gets a penalty. So that will mean that we can contest for P9, potentially maybe P8 if we're lucky. So again, into hyperdrive. And we're going to begin lap three. Pretty much now in P10. So we are moving up. We are getting support from behind, which is basically... Slipstream central, you know, it needs to be done. So, working together, dream, teamwork does make the dream work. Nearly, uh, nearly didn't say that right there, but we did say it right, so it's alright. So, the streams will be taking a massive step up very soon. And in addition, that means the videos, I might pull videos from the live stream to make into videos potentially. Because that would be a little easier for me as well. Because uh, it will already be basically all sorted. Um, I do apologise about this, but it won't be a permanent issue. It will go back to semi-normal in a couple of months, months when things start to die down. And then in June, things will pick up again, probably, no doubt. But we're just going to 
just see what we can do and hope for the best. And by the way guys, if you want gaming made easier, if you're a PC gamer or any PC gaming needs, check out the link in the description below, player.com, for awesome, awesome stuff on the PC. So your games library in one place. You can make sure that if you have a really good clip and you're playing like say Star Citizen or F1 or anything like that, just yell and it will capture the footage. Excellent stuff. So yeah. Anyway, enough of me blabbering on. So we're looking for a way around the Belgium here. Moons. Can we get around moons? We're really trying our best, but at the moment we're gonna have to rely on a slipstream, which we're gonna hopefully try and slingshot past and we'll be closer to your average Joe again. So again, into hyperdrive. And just gonna work together, you see the hazards are on there, so happy days. We're in agreement that working together is pretty much what we wanna do. So, of course, it does always help. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas as well. Uh, Moons looks like they are breaking themselves, so maybe not having the best, but we'll see. And it's actually a really nice livery on that car, I gotta say, Moons got quite a nice livery there. So, I think livery I'm rocking here is just a generic one, or just one I got from the Discover page, I'm not too sure. So we are going to be in line with Moons here, but we're going to just try and look for a way around. Uh, going to touch the wall as well, because why not? So what can we get here? So we can possibly look at getting P10, but I don't know, maybe P8, absolute best. But that's going to have to be a really, really lucky last lap. Will we be able to get that though? Well, we're going to massively close down the distance. The average Joe gets a penalty, unfortunately, for going a bit wide there, and that goes into me. But not much I sadly could have done there. This one, I didn't mean to give Average Joe the bump. My apologies about that again if you're watching. But we are on the inside now for the right-hander, which is soon to be the left-hander. However, with the penalty, we don't have to worry about that too much. We are going to go it up into P10, but this is it. Can we maybe get P9? Or will there be anyone up ahead? We can uh, look to maybe, maybe get the move done on. Well, we're just going to come out side by side. Maybe I should have waited behind a little longer and then slung, a slingshotted past. Slingshotted? A, a slingshot? I'm not really sure how to say that. So this is it. We're going to have a drag race to the finish. Is we going to be able to get this done? That time is coming down really quickly. It's going to be a really close one. But it looks like unless we can get a miracle here. Oh, we're closing down, but we did not get it sadly that was in really close you can see there from the time very very close so yeah we'll take a p8 but i know i can do better so we're going to move on to race number two where hopefully things go a bit better so again we're starting in p14 so right at the back of the grid which is what i want what i wanted for this week anyway i wanted the opportunity to try and move up because i've got to say this is my favorite track I prefer the opposite configuration, the um, south outer loop, I think it's called, um, or the east outer loop, I'm not sure. Whichever one this is, it's the opposite too, so it's just basically the same track, just in reverse. Uh, that one I prefer, but this one is still really nice, and I'm, I was very addicted to this one this week, uh, on both accounts. Um, although I didn't do too well on my main account, to be fair. So we see a couple of people up ahead there, we've got Steve-O, um, we've got Noodle, I think that is, and we've got the German here. Uh, Mika B. I think that was a singer, right? Or some sort of uh, music musician? I'm not too sure. So we're going to look for a move round Mika B. Or B's. Uh, unfortunately, they, they take a very awkward line there, but luckily they're all right. So that's all right. Uh, a lot of bumping going on here. The safety rating, you can tell, is pretty pretty well impacted. Um, so we're going to go down into P15 now, right at the bottom. It looks like... Wow, okay, so um, they decided to go into the wall, but luckily we go through them. That could have been a hell of a lot worse, so happy days that wasn't any worse. Um, a lot of carnage here, and you're going to see, you're going to just get three positions there. Somehow, I don't know what happened there, but I suppose it's just, it's, it's Christmas, that's what it is. Although this race actually wasn't on Christmas Day, but we're working with Steve-O now to try and break away from everyone behind if possible. And we see P7 in the, uh, in the um, distance there has got a penalty, so they're going to come into play now. And, oh, maybe they're not, actually. Never mind. Um, so we're going to go up. It looks like uh, the driver up just ahead of us here. Um, can't quite make out the name here, but they get a penalty. Taking really awkward lines. But we're going to use Slipstream and work with Steve-O. Because we want to support our fellow Brit. We're going to bulldoze pass. And we're going to just try and 
safely navigate around these guys so there's a lot of penalties here and this was quite an he had to be quite aggressive around here which is sound not too used to so you could probably tell not um it's not really like my normal style and i accidentally give steve a bump there but you're gonna see all these positions and unfortunately we get to meet barry r how are you doing mr barry r nice to see you on christmas day or whenever this was of course so here we go p9 with a couple penalties up ahead and there might be some penalties behind we might have a little peek behind i can't quite remember now we'll find out anyway but we are in that slipstream so we can luckily use this to our advantage and i know i've got the pace round here so it's just about utilizing this and making the most out of well the penalties really um making yourself hopefully everyone else getting penalties so we're just looking to find the most optimum line there which unfortunately means we're going to the back of me could be slightly there they do get a penalty really unfortunate it's three seconds didn't mean to go into the back of them there so i do apologize about that as i mentioned this is quite a aggressive track and you've really got to be aggressive in the macro as well so i felt bad it wasn't my normal style i'm just trying to adapt i tried to adapt for this week but yeah it, you know it, it was it was amazing times either way i, I do really enjoy it so again we're getting on the hyperdrive where we are going to start lap number three But we're going to work with Steve over there. Because we might as well work together and just see if we can bridge that gap to the guys up ahead. And we're going to give Steve a little bit of bump again. But we are getting bumped from behind. So we're going to have to just make the most out of it. We are going to get the move done on Steve. So that puts us promo sorry, that promotes us into P7. But looks like Steve is just on our tail here. So that might not be for long. We can just about see the back of P6. And just about P5 as well. But I don't think they're going to be close enough to really do anything about how are your Christmases going guys let me know in the comments below I don't know if you're actually watching this on Christmas Day oh I get a penalty not ideal um, I don't know if you're watching this on Christmas Day or if you're watching this at other, any other point but I hope you're having a great day either way so unfortunately because of that penalty that's going to affect where we're going to come out slightly here because we're going to be a little bit behind Steve-O and you're going to see this, this penalty is going to take an age. Just feel like it never ends. So we're going to serve all of these three seconds, which I don't even remember what I got the second penalty for, even at the time. Uh, we're just going to go with it. That's cool. We lost two positions there, but there is still one more lap. And there is also plenty of penalties. So again, in hyperdrive for the final time for this, um, for this race. So let's see if we can maybe make up any more ground. It's going to be a little bit quiet at the moment. Got no one immediately behind us or in front of us. However, there's so much time for things to go wrong still. So let's hopefully not make any mistakes. That would be helpful. So we're going to try and navigate around here safely and try and take our best lines possible, which we so far we haven't really done. Um, I have improved a hell of a lot since uh, this race, especially in the live streams as well. Which, guys, if you are enjoying the live streams, let me know, because I am planning to step them up and hopefully do them a little bit more regularly in the new year. The live streams tend to work a lot better for me, just because I can get more races done and keep you guys entertained for hopefully longer as well. You can watch them in the weeks and whatnot. Maybe if I can do about five races or something, I'll be about five nights worth of racing. Unless you're obviously binge it, then that's cool as well. <laughs> so, see uh, the driver ahead there has got a penalty. Is that one Steve-O? It could be, to be fair. My MacBook doesn't seem to want to actually let me read it, unfortunately. So what we're going to do here, we're going to just about go for the move on Steve-O. Um, was that the right thing to do or was it the wrong thing to do? Well, we will soon find out. Well, we're going to just try and make sure we get our better exit without touching the walls, which luckily no walls have been touched. The guy ahead with the penalty, but we are going to be a bit too far away for really that to have any effect. So this is it. steve is in the slipstream. We're racing to the line, but we know we're a victim in the slipstream. So if we just have a little look on the radar here, or actually look behind us first. This is going to be close. And you see him right there on the radar. This is it. How close is he going to be? Another photo finish. Oh, looks like we just hit someone there as well. So, yeah, another really close one there, Steve-O. So that was good racing. Thank you for that, Steve-O, if you're watching. Really enjoyed that. 
So again, we're starting P14 again. I think we've started there quite a few times now. But this is it. Final race. This one is where all the elbows are out. So what are we going to be able to do here? Well, we are going to start quite low down, but we have got a good opportunity here to work with Airman Noodle, who was in a race earlier. We're going to break early, but we do get a punt from behind. Unfortunately, that does knock out uh, Good Moon or Morning. The Frenchman knocking over Wallace there. I do apologise to the Brit just there that I, uh, of course, you know, it was Constantino effect, so I did bump into them, but not intentionally. Um, I feel like I was I broke early and someone out broke themselves into me. Um, really unfortunate that, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that, sadly. So, here we go. We are nearly up into P10 after about three, four corners, so not bad. Now for the more technical part of the track, Sector 2. Which for me, it was where a lot of time could be gained. So can we maybe work our way around the Frenchman here, Mr. Bear? Absolutely, we can definitely get around and we just need to wait for the opportunity to open up and then pounce. That sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? <laughs> so here we go, are we going to go around the outside? No, are we going to maybe... Just maybe bump draft. Oh, we're going to go right through the Spaniard though, but unfortunately he decided to uh, unghost at the at the wrong time there. But that was down to me. I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't very smart. I should have just waited or gone round. But because of that, we're going to actually give him a bump draft to say sorry and try and support them down a straight. See, we've got a couple of trains going here, and you're basically seeing me just trying to. Well, actually, this Spaniard does knock out Mr. Burr there. But yeah, I was basically trying to support them. And yellow flags are out. We're up into P7 now, so happy days. Halfway through the race, up about half the grid. This is looking pretty good so far. If we can keep going, maybe we'll be up for a podium. That'd be nice. So we have a bit of a distance to P6 up ahead. But as I mentioned earlier, this is Penalty Expressway. I think it's impossible to go around here without getting a penalty. Or if it is possible, it's just very rare. Um, at least for the competition anyway, like I found myself constantly getting penalties. I think I got one every race so far if I'm correct. Uh, not had one this race so far, so we'll see if that does maintain. Hopefully we can may maybe get away without having a penalty, that would be nice. Especially because this is such an aggressive track. It really does promote some good content, but a lot of aggressive racing <laughs> that is actually out of my com comfort zone. So this is definitely something I think I want to improve for the new year and for Grand Turismo 7. I know I need to work on my aggression and probably more my defence and attacking. Well, just generally those those three things, I suppose. Maybe some tyre management as well. Maybe tuning as well, but we, we let's not get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> so we got a gaggle of cars here. I don't know what happened, but basically we're going to just just try and slip up through the inside. Uh, we're going to try and work with the Brit here, because they are trying no hazards. Of course, still want to support our fellow Brit. So we're actually looking at the back of um, P2 here. Don't know where P1's gone. Oh, there they are, but they have a penalty just up ahead. I don't know what's happening here. It's just, I'm a bit lost on all of that there. But yeah, basically, we're just going to slip up. Yep, yep, that's two positions right there. And then, now up to P5. We're right behind Mick the Crack. Uh, the Crack, sorry. I was about to say Crack. <laughs> um, so, let's see if we can get around them. Uh, we do accidentally break a little bit early there, so I didn't mean to um, brake check the driver behind. That was completely an accident there, I did not mean to. I think I just I was too focused on trying not to miss my uh, brake marker. I actually did it way too early. So I suppose better doing it too early than too late, but obviously not at anyone else's expense. But uh, well, all we can do is just look forward, and at the moment, we're looking at the back of um, Mech. So can we maybe get the move done? I think we can, to be fair. I think Podium's looking really good. Guys, MP1 and 2 do have penalties as well, so this hopefully will go into our favour. See, we're actually doing number 4 as well, so this is great, we're already up into P4. We're going to go on the, um, we're going to try and stick to the left here. And looks like someone else has just ghosted there as well, and unfortunately, I don't know what happens there, I think I get a bump, and that Constantino effect basically equals death. So we're into P6, no we're not, into P5. Um, so I lost quite a few positions there on that last turn. So this is it, last lap. No penalty so far, impressive isn't it? And we're going to have our own little inside train here. Basically you always want to be on the inside, although it 
does have its negative effects. I'm going to make this briefly free wide. Not very smart play by me here, but we're just going to go for it here. So we are on the outside, but we're going to just put away really nicely here. Just going to actually just fully get the car where we need it to be and accelerate as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I'd say apart from that free wide bit back there, that was all right. So this is it. Can we maybe finish this up? We're in P1 finally. Wow, who would have thought? <laughs> so P1, last lap, no penalties so far. We've learned our lessons from the previous races, or most of them anyway, of obviously not breaking early and um, not getting penalties does does help. So this is it. Can we break the slipstream to the Portuguese driver behind? I think we're definitely getting there. And all we need for behind is for everyone to start battling so we can start breaking away, which is exactly what started, hap started happening. You can hear the music. You can probably tell where this is going to go. But you're going to see it. We're just past the penalty, bar uh, penalty threshold barrier. Thank you, my Bob. I'm not sure what I was trying to say there, but I said it anyway. And yeah, that's pretty much going to secure our place. So we're just going to cut to the end um, any second now. Just because the straights can be a bit boring on our own. And that's it, P1. So happy days. I managed to do it. So Merry Christmas, guys. And a Happy New Year to all you guys. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, we'll have a great day anyway. Um, whatever you, you believe in, that's amazing. And um, yeah, that's going to do it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely day and take care. I'll see you guys all in the next video or like this live stream whenever or whatever that shall be. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.